For the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once you're on it, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. You can run it in the background as you're doing the other steps in this video. For the second method, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to expand monitors and then you want to find the monitor that you're having a problem with. So let's just see I'm having a problem with this one. I'm going to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has been installed, then we're just going to close this out. And now we're going to expand display adapters. You want to find your graphics card. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has also been installed for your graphics card, we're going to go back and click on browse my feeds for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list. Then you want to install the second one that comes up and click on next and install that and then see if that works. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Then you want to check for updates and do all the updates that you may have. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Once you're on it, we want to scroll down until we find display enhancement service. Once you find it, we're going to double click on it and then you want to click on stop. And then you want to click on start again. And change the startup type to automatic and click on OK. Now, once you do everything in this video, restart your computer, then the problem should be fixed. But before you do that, just do this last final step that I'm going to show you, which is an alternative in case of that does not work. So we're going to head over to search and then type in Microsoft Store. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to search for Twinkle Tray. And then you want to install this one right here. It's free. I have it myself. So once you install that, it's going to appear right here and then you can drag it over here. And this is the icon for it. It might look a bit different, but just click on it and then you can change the brightness. It doesn't show for you, but in real life, it actually changes the brightness for my monitor screen. So once you do everything in this video, restart your computer and then see if the normal brightness works after doing those first methods in the video. And if it still doesn't work, then use Twinkle Train instead.